Yo, what's up everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be going over the transition from Forex to Futures. There is a little bit of a difference in the way you are going to be buying and selling. You're going to be buying contracts. You're not going to be putting in lot sizes. So you're probably wondering how much is a contract worth? How much is a tick? How much is a handle? If there's no more pips, what do I do? In this video, we're gonna be going over that. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so we're just going to be going over this pretty quickly. So we have uh, ES, MNQ, and MYM. So when I first started trading futures, when I transitioned from Forex to futures, I was used to trading lot sizes. So I had to associate contracts with lot sizes when I was first beginning. So if I'm looking at YM, this is the Dow Jones. This is the mini, there's mini and micro. So mini contracts are going to be worth more dollars a point than micros. Period. So if I'm looking at the E mini Dow Jones, it's going to, you see this five right here, every single point that it moves, say from 21 to 20, it's going to be worth $5. So one contract on YM, the E mini, the mini Dow Jones is going to be worth $5 a point. It's like trading a 0.5 lot on Forex. If we're looking at the micro version, micro version is going to be worth less than the mini version so if you have a smaller account you wouldn't want to trade micros it's one contract on the dow jones is going to be worth on the micro version of dow jones is going to be worth 50 cents a point so from one to two it's going to be 50 cents so if you go from one and you lose a point you're going to be 50 cents a drawdown if you gain a point you're going to be 50 cents in the profit so if you have two contracts on the micro Dow Jones, it's going to be worth one dollar point, and that's like trading a point ten lot on a prop firm on Forex. So we're going to move on to NQ. So on NQ, uh, NQ is going to be worth twenty dollars a point. There's a little bit difference in NQ than YM. On YM, there's only a point system. On NQ, there is a tick and point system. So to get from one to two, you have to go from one. So 1.25, 1.50, 1.75 to 2. So every point you gain on NQ is going to be worth $20. So if you get from 1 to 2, you have gained $20. If you go from 1 and you lose a point, you're at $20 in drawdown. So each tick, there's four ticks in one point on NQ. So each tick is worth $5. So, yeah. M and Q. So if you had two contracts of NQ, each point would be worth forty dollars. Five contracts would be worth a hundred dollars a point. NQ is crazy. On uh, M and Q though, it's going to be worth less because it is a micro version. It's micro. So if you're a small account, you would trade M and Q. One contract is going to be worth two dollars. And as I recently discussed. There's four ticks in one point on NQ and MNQ. So for each tick on MNQ, it's going to be worth 50 cents because 50 cents times four is $2. Each point on MNQ for one contract is going to be worth $2. That is like trading a point two lot on a prop firm challenge on a Forex. So two contracts on MYM is like trading a point ten lot on a prop firm. One contract on is on the MQ is like trading a point two lot on a prop firm for Forex. And then we're gonna move on to ES. ES is a little bit different. It's worth the most amount of money uh, versus every single you know contract. <clears throat> so for every single point that you are on ES is going to be worth five dollars so from one to two it's going to be worth five dollars but just like nasdaq it has a point system so there's four ticks in one point so every single if you have one contract in one contract one point is worth five dollars there's four ticks quick math one dollar and 25 cents for each tick in es so if you had the this is the micro version 
micro ES, if you had the regular ES right here, every, one point would be worth $50. So if you went from one to two, you would be $50 in profit. If you lost a point, you would be $50 in drawdown. If you had two contracts, it'd be worth $100. ES is worth the most. So if you are trading $5 a contract, it's going to be like trading a 0.5 spot on a prop firm challenge. If you're trading $50 a point, it's going to be like trading a 5 lot on Forex. On NQ for $20 a point, it's going to be worth trading like a 2 lot on Forex. So on Platinum, Gold, and Silver, you are going to have regular Platinum and Gold. And then you're gonna have micro. There's not there's not a mini. There's just micro and platinum and gold futures. So for one contract on platinum, gold, and silver, it's going to be like trading a one lot. A one lot. If you get a hundred point of pips on on a uh, forex, you're gonna get a thousand dollars. So that's like the same for every one contract on gold. It's like using a one lot. There is a and platinum and silver so for every one contract is like using a one lot so for every hundred pips that'd be a thousand dollars so on gold micro gold however and micro platinum and micro silver every hundred pips would be a hundred dollars so that would be like using for every one contract on micro gold futures it'd be like using a point ten lot on forex so that's basically it everyone that is really pretty much all you need to all you need to know that's all i trade that's all i really all i know anyways so uh, that's, that's that's pretty much it if you have any questions please leave a comment in the comment section below i'd be happy to answer them join the discord and uh, link in the description below if you are looking for a mentor work book a call with me and yeah if you have any questions let me know Deuces.